In Sikkim, they're used to Himalayan downpours in the monsoon. But once more, a familiar tale now in a warming world. This was extreme rainfall. Scores of people reported missing, 14 confirmed killed. An army convoy overcome and it's feared up to 23 soldiers could be dead. Just last month, Derna in Libya, devastated by a dam burst caused by extreme rainfall, made worse in part by the climate crisis. Now here in northeastern India, a partial dam burst also accelerated these floodwaters. As of now, we have recovered 10 dead bodies. There are 82 missing persons which have been reported and which includes 23 personnel from army also. We are searching for them and making all efforts to trace them. A glacial lake burst its banks also, worsening the floods. Across the Himalayas, warnings for years now about retreat shrinkage, melting glaciers forming unstable lakes. Climate warming um, causes uh, widespread uh, retreat shrinkage of uh, glaciers in this, in this region. And retreat shrinkage of glacier leads to formation of glacial lakes. The glacial lakes can burst out uh, and create uh, um, quite big floods downstream. Entire mountain shrinkage too. Scientists in Chamonix today announcing Mont Blanc is two meters shorter than when they last measured it just two years ago. Melting permafrost and glaciers could be the reason, they say. And now the graph that stunned science. From 1941 on the left, the global temperature swings year on year for the month of September. Scientists shocked by data showing this September was by far the biggest heating deviation from average recorded. Globally, the world this September, half a degree Celsius higher than 2020. Might not sound much, but it is an extraordinary leap. In the UK, coming after the September heat wave, if you're in the southeast, prepare for 25 Celsius this weekend. That's around 10 degrees hotter than it should be. Well, earlier I spoke to Piers Poster, Professor of Physical Climate Change at the University of Leeds and Interim Chair of the Government's Climate Change Committee. I began by asking how he described today's new climate change figures. Yeah, well, I think it's both ex extraordinary and really kind of, really kind of bizarre that we've we've seen such a huge record kind of broken in the surface temperature. It, it, it really is extraordinary. And just how concerned are you about these figures? Lots of people are saying that it's higher than expected. Well, I'm kind of torn because the first is I'm a kind of climate kind of scientist by background. And so for, for me, when I look at the huge change, I get really excited about it. But, but then as a kind of citizen and with a kind of child, it gives me really huge concern that, that we've, seen a, we've seen the record bust by 0.5 degrees, and that's huge. When you hear 0 0.5, lots of people at home might be saying, what does that actually mean? What impact does that actually have? Does it matter? It doesn't sound like that much. Yeah, well, the first thing to say that this is a record broken for the average Earth's kind of surface temperature. So quite often when you see a record broken in one country, that isn't everywhere. And often when the average surface temperature is broken, we're talking about being broken by a kind of hundredth of a degree or something tiny. But this is 0.5 degrees. So this is kind of 500 times as big as what we might expect. Just Stop Oil uh, got in the way of a performance yesterday at Les Miserables. Is their reaction proportionate, do you think, to what the situation is right now? I'm not at all in kind of favour of their actions. Uh, uh, and, but I think as a citizen of the country, of course, we're concerned when we see the impact of climate change. They're not only occurring here, they're occurring everywhere. And we, we all have a responsib responsibility, but, but we also have to bring the country with us. The, the, we ha this is a job for everyone to do, and, and we all have to be on this decarbonisation journey.
Professor Pierce Foster, thank you very much for coming in. Good to speak to you. Okay, cheers for your time. Thank you.